Hey, it's Gothy, and I'm doing my, um, stitchy spot tag. So, um, because I don't have the ability to stand very much today, I can't stand and give you a full view. So, you just have to kind of deal with me sitting on my ass. So, this is my computer desk, and it is also where I stitch. So, as you can see, there's the one that I'm working on right now, and the other one that I'm working on right now and usually the other ones that I'm working on sit on top of the Stephen King book but they're currently down there because I've been filming um, that Stephen King book is basically my camera prop um, just so that it has enough height to film these are my cross stitching drawers now with needle minders so most of them are cross stitch some of them are sewing and drawing and stuff um, over here we have patterns. It's a very, it's very messy at the moment. Um, under this piece of paper, I will just move closer. Under this piece, piece of paper are cross stitch books and magazines, and also some tattoo ones, and then random bits and pieces that didn't fit anywhere else. We have some sewing fabrics down here and down here as well. Spotlight bag has some more fabric in it. Um, usually my CNC boxes will sit down here. And these two are my new ones and my bag of DMC that I've got to sort. My other ones are sitting on my bed at the moment, which is also a bit of a mess I've been cleaning. So this is where I stitch because it's easiest for me. Um, and it just means that I don't have to get up to get anything, which is good because... Um, that's the problem with having a physical disability is that getting up to go and grab something is not always as easy as it seems. Um, so as for what my view is, well it's pretty much just my room. So that's one of my bedroom windows which I, um, I keep a painting up in there because um, the sun comes up like right there and it's frustrating sometimes. Um, my other bookshelf, um, some of my collectibles and stuff, my chest of drawers, comic books, the entrance to my bedroom, and uh, air conditioner as well because we're coming into summer and it's already hot as hell. Um, oh, let's do this without knocking things off my desk, preferably. My bed and my other window. Um, I don't really open the windows very much, um, that window doesn't actually open and it just looks out onto the street so nothing spectacular to look at. Um, bedside chest of drawers, more books and another bookcase. Also very much full of books and my pop figures, little Spider-Man figure. I'm in the process of sorting my bookshelves again so I keep nail polish in this box down here um, and then I have my printer in this little corner um, paper I've got all the boxes for my computer parts and my collector's editions for the World of Warcraft stuff I keep my cables and stuff down here um, just because I can't really put things up on the wall properly so I can't put any hooks and stuff up and then my computer, stash of hankies because sinus is way too much paper in there. Um, but that's pretty much my room. Um, computer, and I have some pictures up here. So, yes, that's pretty much my view. It's nothing spectacular, but it works for me because I don't have to get up and get things, everything's just easy to reach. And the other part of the stitchy spot tag is um, your ideal stitching day, which for me is pretty much any day that I have the energy to do it. Um, again, one of the problems with a disability is that some days I wake up and I'm just exhausted. Um, that is if I've slept at all, which is the other issue. Um, and sometimes I don't end up stitching until ridiculous hours of the night because I'm nocturnal at the moment. Um, 
for example, last night I finished this one. I finished this at 4am. Um, I didn't stitch, pretty much didn't stitch all day yesterday. Um, I was just doing random bits and pieces and I just didn't feel motivated or energetic towards stitching until it hit about 11 o'clock at night. And I just picked up my needle and I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to do this. So, yeah, pretty much ideal stitching day is just any day that I have the energy to do it for a long time, which doesn't happen as much anymore because as my knees deteriorate more, um, I find that just doing basic things just takes so much more energy out of me. So, trying to deal with all of that. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, again, because of my disability, I don't really go out anywhere, so, um, you know, I just stay home and I game and I read and I cross stitch. And that's pretty much what I do. So, any day really is an ideal stitchy day. Um, yeah, so that's about it for that tag. Um, I think that's it. I think it's only just a two question tag for now. Um, I'm hoping there'll be like a Halloween one because I like Halloween. I don't like Christmas, I like Halloween. Which, not surprising because little goth kid. Um, but yes, that is my stitch environment. Um, it's nothing spectacular, it does the job. Um, maybe one day I'll have a little bit more space to play with and I can get a little bit more creative. But for the time being, it does the job. So, I will see you guys later. So, this is where I've decided to store my needle minders. So, how it's set up is in the drawer. And the magnets are all on this side. So, that means I don't have to have, you know, a tray or anything. So, I actually have some new ones as well. So, zoomy, zoomy, zoom. Okay, focus. So those are the two that I had last time, and that one as well. Sailor Jupiter is a new one. Um, Tom Hiddleston is also... Ah. It does not want to focus on Tom Hiddleston. There we go. So that's also a new one, and it's perfect. It's pretty awesome. And I also have a new Sailor Moon one. So... That's pretty cool.